All right, what I'd like to show you guys is when given a piecewise function, how to write actually um, what the function is. So how to write it piecewise. How to write a piecewise function from a graph. All right. First of all, what we, guys need, what we need to do is we need to determine what are our three equations. Because you have three different lines, all with different constraints. So we need to determine what are our three equations. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to start left to right. I look at this line. All right, This is a straight constant line at 6. So I know when I do not have, when I have a straight line, I have no slope. Therefore, my slope would be 0. So therefore, this is just going to be a constant term. And the constant term, I know if I was to continue this line with no constraints, it would cross at 6. So therefore, this line is y equals 6. That's how you graph that line. Then I look at the next one. If I pretend this graph had no constraints, I could continue this infinitely to infinity and negative infinity for the domain and the range. And I notice that this would cross at 4. And it also has a slope of down 1 over 1. So therefore, I'd get y equals <coughs> negative x plus 4. Lastly, I have this equation. And I see that this one, <coughs> since I'm going, um, my intervals will go by 2, I would say this roughly intersects at 1. And my slope is, let's say, up 2 over 4, which also could be reduced down to 1 half, right? So I'd say this slope is y equals 1 half x plus 1. So now, here's my three equations. And I need to say, all right, well, now let's go and look at what are the constraints per e equation. Here, it looks like these are going by 2, 4, 7, 6. This one looks like this is true for only numbers that are less than 5. So I'd say x is less than 5. And the one thing I notice is that this has a closed dot. So therefore, I know it's also going to be equal to sorry, negative 5. Then, this one has an open dot at 5, and it goes from 5 to <coughs> negative 2. So I'd say um, this one goes from negative 5, which would be less than x, which would be less than negative 2. <coughs> and lastly, I have negative 2 all the way up to infinity. So what I would say for this <coughs> problem would be x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So the main important thing, guys, is to write your three equations and then you find your three constraints. Then you can put it in your piecewise format. Which for this equation, I'd write f of x. And I'd say 6 if x is less than or equal to negative 5. Negative x plus 4 if negative 5 is less than <coughs> x, which is less than negative 2, and 1 half x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So that is how, when given a graph, you write it as a piecewise function.